What's up, everybody? It's Miss Fuentes. It's been a long time, I know. I'm sorry, but I just found out how to make slime. I gotta show you. But, choo! Oh, God, guys, this stuff gets everywhere. It's so slimy and gross, and we love it. And I'm gonna show you how to make this in the next clip. Have our homemade slime cake. You're gonna need some food coloring. So do some color mixing. You're gonna need some beads, some fruit slices, some fine glitter, uh, some shaving cream, some metallic paint. Don't forget these little tools to chop up things. You're gonna need some droppers to help measure out your my favorite thing, borax, which is actually prepared. With one teaspoon per cup. So if you're gonna mix borax, all you need is one cup of water and one teaspoon of borax, and then you just kind of mix it up and you can just kind of put that to the side in your slime kit, all right? First step in making your puffy slime is to get a nice big container, get about one cup of glue. And what you do is you kind of put it in one big container just like that and just kind of scrape out all the glue. And you know, if you're at home doing this, just get a nice big container so you don't get too messy with the shaving cream because the shaving cream gets really big. Uh, that's kind of what happened here. We don't want to make anything like that. It's a huge mess. Now it's time for me to go ahead and put that shaving cream in. And I just kind of put it in. Have fun. Watch some super satisfying shaving cream just drop in there. Honestly, it's all about how you feel with the texture of your puppy paint. Now, this is really fun paint that you can use to make three-dimensional paint. So if you ever want to do a craft at home, all you need is an equal amount of glue and an equal amount of shaving cream, and you can create something called puffy paint. Now, puffy paint ironically makes puffy slime. So we're going to go ahead, and this looks pretty good. It looks like it's a little too puffy. So I'm going to grab some more glue and throw it in here so it's a little more slimy than puffy. And just stirring it up like a mad scientist. <laughs> Yeah, now this right here, that's that cool whip texture you want to get. So this is perfect for passing out to my friends. Oh yeah, look at that slimy, gooey stuff. Now this is going to get exciting. Now this is exactly about how much every student should have if you're doing this with your students or if you're just hanging out. Now if you're just doing this at home, you can get as much slime as you want. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. So let's talk about color mixing. If you want to make green, all you need to do is add some blue and yellow. If you want to make purple, all you need to do is add some red and blue. If you want to make maybe a bluish green, add some green and blue. And if you want to make like a yellowish green, honestly, it's all about proportions. So if you want it to be more yellowish green, just add more yellow than green. I want it to be a bright, bright yellowish green. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of yellow dots. And then maybe one tiny dot of green. Uh, drops of green. Um, and go ahead and add my glitter. Not too much. Foam beads are awesome for puffy slime. So we're going to throw a little bit of foam beads in there. Just going to go ahead and stir it up. Make sure you scrape the bottom of your bowl and you just kind of mash in all those elements. Three hours later. When you are mixing your slime, you will have a little container of water to make sure it's softened up, your borax to harden it up, and this is a little container of water just to kind of like clean out your your little your dropper in between borax and water. You don't want to mix those up. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting that together. I'm gonna get my dropper, my friend's gonna get her dropper. We're gonna go ahead and start adding our borax. I sucked up a little bit. I'm gonna start with two drops of borax. Put it back in the water and then stir it up. Mixing, mixing. See how I like it. Ooh, this is definitely getting all nice and gooey. Whoa, check out that slime. That is so gross. I love it. Now I'm going to get a little bit more water and a little bit more borax. So here's the best part about this slime right here. This looks like it's ready for me to touch with my hands. Now, being that it is still in a sticky form, I'm going to go ahead and touch it with my finger. Good. It's very stretchy, but it's definitely too sticky. So. I go in with some borax and I put it right in my hands. Why not, right? It's great, because you know what happens with borax? It actually helps the slime become less sticky. And what you do is you just go in, add more borax to it as you're playing with your uh, slime in your hands, and it just kind of mixes in better. And what I found out, is that you have a better idea what you have with texture. You want it to be a good texture, and you want it to be nice and squishy, or you want it to be nice and stretchy. It's up to you. So my slime is looking super awesome. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more water. And my friend here looks like she probably would need a little bit more borax. As me, I probably could use less borax and more water. But at the end of the day, I made some awesome green slime with some foam beads, and it's looking cool. All right, guys, so that's all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed watching me make slime. I hope you enjoyed making it. And if you're a teacher, listen, it's really not that bad of a cleanup. I'll see you guys next week and stay tuned for that clear slime video.